everybody, and welcome back to Rugby Wrap-Up. Thank you for joining us. Matt McCarthy on the Upper West Side of Manhattan and Zach Lanning calling in from Hackensack, New Jersey. Zach's going to make his debut, The Zach Attack. But before you do that, Zach, I want to welcome you to the show. Matt, thanks so much for having me on. I appreciate it, and I appreciate the chance to rep New Jersey while I'm here. Uh, before we got started, though, I did just want to ask uh, – that's a pretty cool mask you got on. I wanted to know what, what the deal was. Why are you still wearing that? Yep. To be honest with you, I, I had no idea I had the mask on. It's the pig and whistle <laughs> mask, the world's best rugby pub, 36th Street, just off 7th Avenue. I, I just wear it all the time. You know, and it's, it's not that it's a shameless plug for our sponsor, the pig and whistle, who are reopening after the COVID on March 11th. Not that. But anyway, let's get to your first ever Zach attack. What do you got? You got it, Matt. I am uh, here to talk a little bit about Madrid Sevens. It took place over the last two weekends. USA men's and women's Sevens Eagle squads went and played for the first time in over a year. Got out there and played some really tough international competition, and they played pretty well overall. You know, they, they finished, I think, a disappointing third for both in the table, but they, they went out there and, and shook some rust off and, uh, and beat a lot of the opponents that they, they were supposed to beat, uh, especially the women's side, who handed out some pretty hefty defeats. Uh, especially the last game they played uh, against Poland, they beat them 62 to nothing. Um, but, you know, they had a couple of really great performances. Standouts, really, Nia Tolliver, who was a, an uncapped before this, making her international debut, just combined some really solid raw power and speed on the wing. And then Alona Marr, I would say, who really impressed with a lot of her bone-crunching tackles that made me audibly gasp as I was watching, uh, but also finished the day and the tournament on the wing herself and scored a bunch of really classy tries. Um, on the men's side, you know, obviously there was disappointing news with the injury to Perry Baker. Uh, he, you know, he was a, such a huge part of that squad and, you know, it, it two times sevens player of the year, he'll sort be sorely missed um, and people were wishing for a really speedy recovery for him. Um, so hopefully they can get him back soon, but they did rally and Jake LaChina, who actually made his international debut, filled in pretty admirably on the wing. Uh, he's got some great speed as well, great power and a great one-step move to kind of take him past defenders. Uh, another name for the men's team, Martin Yosepo, who was coming back after a long layoff. Really, you know, first weekend, he, he looked a little rusty. Uh, took a, It was an even longer time for him getting out on the pitch. But, you know, second weekend around, he looked really spry, really active, uh, and was involved in a lot of try-scoring opportunities for the men's team. So he made a pretty great debut uh, as well, coming back from injury um, and strong performances from both sides overall. Yeah, and just on the women's side, they, they made one spectacular play after the next. I couldn't wait to see them play again and again and again. And Abby Gustatus, she was just unbelievable force of nature. But thank you, Mr. Zach Lanning and his first ever Zach attack on Rugby Wrap-Up. Don't move that mouse too far, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back with more Rugby Wrap-Up. And please sign up for our Rugby Wrap-Up Red Cross Blood Donor Team. That's right, we have a team and you can help save lives. Also, don't miss the Marshall Plan with Colby Marshall as he looks at key acquisitions for each MLR team. And our big segment of the week with Steve Lewis, Brian Ray, and Matt McCarthy looking at key stuff for each team in Major League Rugby 2021. 